Hey, what's going on Jets fans? Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about the three current Winnipeg Jets prospects, respectively playing for their countries for the World Junior Tournament, starting on Christmas Day 2020. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the groups for this year, Canada is in Group A with Finland, Germany, Slovakia, and Switzerland, while Group B is comprised of Austria, the Czech Republic, Russia, Sweden, Sweden, excuse me, and the United States. Now, overall, like I said at the start rate this a couple seconds ago, that the Winnipeg Jets have three prospects this year playing for their respected countries countries in the World Junior Tournament. Those current those prospects are, not in any particular order, Cole Perfetti, Henry Nykinen, and Vili Hainola. Now let's talk at the start, start talking about the big one, the big newest prospect to, to take center stage for the Winnipeg Jets, Cole Perfetti. Now obviously we've talked about Cole Perfetti a lot since being drafted to the Jets way back when in the draft. I can't even remember when the draft was the way this year is. All my months and dates are so screwed up. But anyways, whenever he was drafted a few months ago, however long it was at this point, I can't remember, it was a great moment for the franchise. Without a doubt, one of the biggest steals so far of the draft, at least most any respected analyst will say, because of the fact that how many points he put up, how consistent offensively he is, how well he moves the puck, and so on and so forth. And the fact that he put up 111 points in 61 games in a shortened season due to COVID, Cole Perfetti looks to be the real deal. Now, the most recent information regarding around Team Canada, lineups, and whatnot has Cole Perfetti playing on the third line. Now, most analysts said that that was where he would most likely play, trying to crack that top six and get more minutes. Now, currently, the way that I see the Team Canada line structured, I think they are perfectly perfect you know, in the sense that they are very, very balanced. Every player on every line, from the first line to the fourth line, knows where, they are, where they're supposed to be. They play the game a certain way. And overall, they just have a really good, you know, chemistry, it seems like. Every line has that type of power forward, sniper, and puck moving guy. And that's what you want on a team, a Canada, basically a country team, I like to call them. Because you want to have the best of the best, and you want to have the best playmakers you know, the best scorers and the best puck movers and whatnot, all spaced and scattered out throughout your lineup to, you know, enhance the play of every other player on current player on that roster. Now, I think Perfetti starting the tournament in the third line is exactly where he should be for the fact that he had 111 points shows the offensive upside and why he could crack into that top six especially in the power play I could definitely see Perfetti getting hot maybe in a few games getting some opportunity and taking advantage of it he could definitely end up being a really really hot guy for Team Canada moving this year overall there's just a lot of good potential with Perfetti in his game and where he could play I definitely see him coming up and battling Holloway for that second line spot on the left wing Overall, though, we're just going to have to wait and see. Right now, we really need to start seeing Team Canada play more. Gets, once we Christmas Day rolls around, we'll be able to get an idea. But with the, what to expect primarily from Perfetti in this tournament, I would see, is a high-tempo offense with a lot of puck moving, good vision, and overall just a complete offensive player in the um, uh, offensive zone. I think that's what Zary's, I'm not Zary, Perfetti, excuse me, is really going to try to show his offensive upside. But at the same time, because of the fact that he was cut last year due to his size, I would expect expect to see an improved defensive aspect to his game. I would expect a little bit more hitting, maybe a little bit more responsible in the neutral zone and in his defensive zone, and I think that that could be really good for his development as well. So just overall, there's a lot to expect from Perfetti and to see from Perfetti, hopefully, and to what he brings to Team Canada this year, and overall, I'm very excited to see what happens with this team and this roster moving forward. Next, we're going to be talking about Team Finland's Henry Nykinen. Now, if you don't know who Henry Nykinen is, I've talked about him in the past briefly on my Random Pig Jets prospect ranking uh, tier list and some other videos in the past as well. He was drafted in 2019 in the fourth round, 113th overall, and overall in his career so far professionally, hasn't shown that many, you know, long periods of success, I would say, but a lot of bright spots. And because of that, he uh, is a definitely a prospect with a lot of potential. This year in the Liga, playing over, I don't even know how to pretend to pronounce that, team we're gonna but uh playing in Liga we're gonna just move on from that uh in 15 games he put up two goals five assists for seven points he was a minus 10 though which is something you don't want to see so the big things with Nikonen is his defensive game improving his positioning improving but the big thing that ad adds to Nikonen's game the big big thing that has really come out about his uh, speed recently is the highest measured speed in October was Henry Nikonen and his top speed was 39.31 kilometers on October 24th now, just for comparisons, 30... 
41 kilometers an hour is McDavid's top speed. So this guy is very, very, very fast. Almost as fast, faster than Ehlers, I would say, to an extent. And that's a big, big part of his game, is that he flies down the ice. He's got good puck possession when he's flying with the puck, but the only thing is, is that he needs to work on his puck possession, just in general, when he has it in the offensive neutral zone. But when he has the speed and he's got his legs going underneath of him, this guy is deadly, deadly, deadly with puck possession and just overall puck movement. And that's key to have on the ice. And I would expect to see Nikonen playing a lot in that third line mid spot having a lot of that speed trying to you know utilize his speed to push the puck up and push the tempo of the bottom sixes for against other teams I think that's exactly how he'll be used in my opinion on team Finland and there's just a lot to expect from that so when you're looking at Nikonen going into this tournament this year watch his speed watch his puck possession see if it improves throughout the games he plays and just watch his overall consistency with the puck and his consistency in the defensive end as well we want to see his defense improve more but so far Nikonen starting to look like another late round steal by the Winnipeg Jets potentially he has all the pieces to become a great bottom depth guy potentially even a top six guy if he can put his offense together and really work on his defensive side of his game but there is a lot to like about what Nikonen brings to this Finland team what he brings to potentially the Jets and the Moose in the coming years after being drafted and whatnot with his development so again another player to watch there but the big things to look for is his defensive improvement and his puck possession in the offensive zone we know he's got the speed but if he can keep the puck keep be smart with the puck and be smart in his own defensive end, I think that's a really good improvement to see from Nikon in this tournament. Now, last but not least, without any further ado, Vili Hainola. Now, I've talked about Vili Hainola a ton on this channel, and almost every other Jets source of media has talked about him a lot as well in the recent months. And with with good reason, let's be honest. In the 2020-21 campaign over in Liga, in 19 games, he put up a goal and 13 assists for 14 points. Now, the big improvement from where that was when he came back to Liga after playing with the Moose and the Jets and starting the season in the NHL, putting only 29 games, 7 assists for 7 points. Now, seeing his offense improve in that short amount of time is very, very good. And the big thing to watch about with Dilly Hainola, and personally what I I saw watching his games in Liga this year was the fact that every time he stepped on the ice, his team just overall got better. His puck moving is that good that when he's on the ice, the team just puts so much, the, his team will just put so much pressure in the offensive zone and almost always get a goal because of how well he moves the puck from his defensive end to the new, through the neutral zone to the offensive zone. And that's the key, key part about Vili Hainola's game. That's what makes him so good. That's what makes him rack up assists is the fact that he he can move the puck so well, make that first pass, get that puck out, get the play moving, get the forwards moving, and that's really what you want in a modern day offensive two-way defenseman. And that's exactly what Heinola brings, and that's exactly what he's going to be bringing to Team Finland. I wouldn't be, I would be very surprised if Vili Heinola isn't playing anywhere within that top four. And in my opinion, he could definitely be see a lot of top pairing minutes on the fact alone that how, how good his puck moving is. I think that when you put Vili Heinola and the ability that he has to move the puck with the offensive upside that he brings to a team and a power play as well he's just an overall dynamic player that team Finland is going to use to their advantage fully he also has experience in this tournament in 2019 he did play five games putting up a goal and assist for two points and then in the 2020 uh, uh, Finland under 20 world junior championship in seven games played putting up five assists so he has experience here this is his third year going back to the world juniors I would expect to see a lot from Heinola I think he's going to be a big leader on this team for Finland I think that he is going to have a very good tournament. I think he's going to make a lot, turn a lot of heads and get a lot of attention and possibly even elevate himself above Sandberg and get him into more of a prime position into taking one of the available, potentially available defensive spots for the Winnipeg Jets moving forward in January when we get to start, excuse me, when we start getting into the season and whatnot. But overall, there's a lot to see with Heinola. The key thing to look out for is his puck possession, his puck moving skills, and the offensive upside he brings when he's putting up pressure in the offensive zone. He's go obviously, he's a big threat, so he's going to have a lot of guys, and also a lot of other teams are going to put pressure on him, but I, he's very composed at his, at, for his, someone his age. We saw that when he broke into the league, so I would expect big things from him in this tournament. I think he's going to be a stellar defenseman. Is going to be one of the talking main talking points of best players in the tournament, possibly, potentially, uh, best defensive possibly defense possibly at least so nonetheless I think Vili Hinola is going to have a fantastic tournament and is definitely going to be one of those players you want to watch just to see what they potentially could bring to the Jets starting next season at some point. 
And with all those three players being wrapped up and talked about, that's going to end the video here. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, guys, what are your thoughts on the World Juniors with these three players? What do you expect them to play? What do you expect to see them with their careers with the Winnipeg Jets and in the NHL, regardless of whether or not they stay with the club? Let me know all that down in the comment section below. If you're a fan of hockey, regardless of what team you root for, definitely consider dropping a subscription. We are on that road to 500 subs, and I do appreciate all the support. And also, guys, make sure to turn on notifications if you haven't already. Tons of videos coming out as every second day. Uh, I'm going to be doing my best to get as much content pushed out as I can leading up to the start of the NHL season, so look out for that. And thank you guys so much again for watching the video and all the continuous support you guys give the channel. Without that, the videos wouldn't be made. I wouldn't be here, so thank you guys so much for all that. All that being said, end the video here. Peace, love, and positivity, guys. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye. Go Jets, go.